Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading for November 28th through December 4th. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. Let's tap into your energy. Holy cow. Freaking beautiful. The Magician, Wheel of Fortune. Um, definitely. Yes, please. Hello. Let's keep going. Remember that this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So be sure to check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs if this is your Sun sign. Wow. Oh, my God. You know, if you have not caught uh, your November read, as a matter of fact, check out last week's reading because that was amazing too. So check that out. I will link it here. At the end of the video, I will link your playlist with all your readings and make sure you check out the weekend love vibe. Something new I did. Uh, let me know how you guys like that. Let's get to it. Wow, Taurus, you start off with the magician. Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands. I love it. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Listen, what I recall from last week's is there was a little bit of um, a disagreement in terms of things going on in the home, whether or not, um, you know, you want to uh, commit to a higher level, um, definitely feel like changes within the home. So you may be relocating, you may have just recently located, purchased a home, moved. I just felt like there were some big, big steps that were taken on your behalf. I mean, first of all, we start off with the magician and the wheel of fortune. Things are moving quickly and definitely in your favor. This feels like very strong uh, magnetic attraction is what I'm hearing, okay? So whatever it is that you want to manifest, that you're working on for yourself, for your growth, for your career, for advancement, your relationship, I feel like you say it, you put it out there, and it's happening for you. However, those of you that are feeling blocked, because I just heard that as I saw this nine of wands, a feeling blocked as though, no, nothing's manifesting. Well, you keep saying that. Of course, nothing's going to manifest. <laughs> but I feel like there's new opportunities coming for you. If you just recently got a promotion or you're in line to get a promotion, uh, switching locations. I feel like even if you maybe transferred locations and you didn't think promotion, like if it was lateral, you didn't think there was a promotion coming up anytime soon. I feel like you get noticed by the right people. people and so that in in turn says, oh, hey, you know, thanks for joining our team. We've got new opportunities at this location that maybe would not have been available to you otherwise. So definitely feel like the trajectory, the path that you are going is very positive. I feel that you've gained some clarity. Uh, it's taken a bit of a rough path for you, for some of you. And I'm going to, I'm going to say some of you are still dealing with this nine of wands energy, very small portion of you, because the rest of these cards are saying, I've done the work. I'm in alignment. I'm ready to receive. I'm ready to move forward. Bring to me whatever offers, opportunities, people, places, things, suggestions, relationships, money, um, hello, partnerships, <laughs> obvi, soulmate, you know, divine counterpart. Uh, definitely feel, and it's 222 right now. So as I'm speaking of divine counterpart, the number two is about partnerships, is about, you know, growth expansion within a partnership, connecting with someone who is your divine counterpart. So those of you that are single, this week is looking good, but I just got to let you know, stop being ragged or looking ragged like you just, you know, fought the earth to get to where you're at. Trust in the universe, in divine timing. I do feel that you are about to meet your divine counterpart, the emperor and the empress. Whatever the two of you choose to do with your life, grow, business, love, whatever you choose. I feel like some of you decide to reconcile with someone and decide to put the work into it. Others of you, uh, you've got... A business partnership or, you know, a uh, superior CEO, someone who is in the right place uh, and 
sees you at the right time to say, hey, Taurus, you're doing great things. I see great things for you. I see things happening for you at a rapid pace. By the way, eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Definitely, whew, let me tell you, that Wheel of Fortune is spinning out of control, but I feel it in a very positive way. So those of you that are feeling the growing pains, the purge, the release, you have to, have to, have to trust that the release, the purge, the closing of chapters, the letting go of what no longer serves you, no matter how much you want it in your life, no matter how much you feel like someone belongs in your life or something is meant for you, trust that if the universe is moving it out of your way it is for a reason i just have to let you know what is the outcome once taurus starts trusting the universe look at that listen the hermit and the star card in reverse a lot of you are saying nope it's not happening for me i don't believe you why are you watching this <laughs> just have to say that why are you watching this if you're feeling that um, you know, pessimistic about whether or not you can come out of certain situations, the clear winner, the clear choice, healed on top. I feel like a lot of you are in this, um, not a lot of you, I want to say a small portion of you, because the, I'm telling you the rest of the energies here are very, very positive. I mean, it's really about cleaning up your thought processes, your mentality, the way you see things, your your views, your mentality, your energetic vibration, what you are feeling on the inside is what you're putting out there. And so when you feel like, no, things never work out for me, well, you know, why is that? Why do you feel that? Why do you believe that? And why do you keep replaying those scenarios of when things didn't work out. It's it's not about ignoring the lessons. Some of you may be ignoring and keep repeating the lessons and some of you are saying, no, nope, I just already assumed that everything negative, everything bad is just like bad luck, blah, blah, blah. Get out of your own way, Taurus. Because this feels like those of you that have gone in this downward spiral of shame and depression and just kind of gave up on life is what I'm feeling like some of you are very much in isolation depressed feeling hopeless like like you don't even see a way out and I'm here to tell you you don't need to see a way out you just got to know that the way out is there and the way out will appear to you so for those of you dealing with financial situations or stability, you may not know how you're going to get out of, uh, you know, debt or, you know, financial ruin or lack of finances or whatever it may be. I'm, I'm telling you, it's not about how, how, how do you want, how do you expect me to believe that there is a way out when I don't see it? You don't need to see it. You just need to trust that it's there. And the more that you trust that that you will be in alignment with a way out, the sooner the way out, the way to get out of this mentality, the way to release yourself from lack mentality, from, you know, the feelings of pessimism, like there's never, like things just don't work out in, in that favor for you, the less likely you will be able to get out quickly enough. Now, I don't want to, you know, put a lot of time, energy, effort into that energy because I don't feel that's everyone's energy. I really feel that there's a small portion of you that I've been through some shit like hardcore, you know, dealing with, um, you know, fighting, uh, trying to, I feel like it's fighting your own demons, trying to figure a way out of, you know, the pessimistic views it's like it's just been ingrained and it's just become the natural way of thinking and thought processes for you i know that's not for everyone taurus so taurus if you're dealing with that it's really really important that you get you know you hone in on your own inner being and you really connect with yourself and understand and realize that you are deserving of a better life you are deserving of better outcomes and when you 
uh, when you realize that what you want for yourself is what you're deserving of, you start making better choices, better decisions. Okay, I'm not, and I don't, and I, and I don't want you to feel like I'm blaming you for those choices, but the way you receive or react or move forward with certain things that play out for you is the exact vibration that keeps matching you and that is why you feel like nothing ever works out for you now for those of you that are grounded that understand you know the laws of the universe the way things work law of attraction and knowing that you know you just have to trust the process trust in divine guidance in the universe that yes i i know i can feel it in my inner being my higher self is telling me i am worthy of so much more i know that that i will one day be able to buy a house i know that my future home my promotion my money my love my divine counterpart my abundance i know that it's there for me and it's about lining up with it and being ready to receive and i know that at the right time right place right time it will align and for those of you i have the nine of cups wish fulfillment all your wildest dreams coming true wild wild is how i keep hearing it wild look at that two nines nine of cups nine of pentacles you are at the end of that road for manifestation things are starting to come into fruition you're starting to see little baby steps little manifestations smaller ones i even feel that some of you were expecting smaller you know manifestations to come true first to come into fruition but something big has just recently happened for you and you're going with it i feel very much like you're going with the flow the energetic flow of how things are uh turning how thoughts are turning into things for you right like you you envision this life for you and you're starting to see pieces of it coming together you're starting to step into that energy you know for some of you king of cups energy here i feel like you do have this water sign energy or someone who finally comes into alignment with you in terms of love how they feel or how they want how they feel and care about you so much that they want to see your wish come true ace of swords again like i said you have this water sign that that is probably going to confess their feelings for you how they feel how they want to see the best for you how they how they want to make things work with you whatever it may be i feel like someone is definitely letting you know they're attracted to you they want something for you look at that queen of pentacles double virgo here you may be dealing with a virgo you have virgo in your chart um but feeling very grounded and stable and knowing that everything that you have been working so hard in manifesting and bringing into fruition, it is happening for you. Absolutely. Now, I don't want to touch too long on those of you that are feeling this pessimistic vibe because I'm telling you it is not for everyone. So Taurus, don't, those of you that are, that are grounded in this energy of receiving don't absorb too much of this message but nine of wands the hermit the star in reverse i mean i mean when you guys are really feeling low vibing it's 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 serious right it's about money and look what comes out when i'm telling you you have to trust that it's coming to you and when i say that you have to trust that it's coming to you that it's aligning to you you are worthy you are deserving it is literally the ace of pentacles the hand that is saying here's some money here's some opportunity here's some growth some abundance some you know here is um you know a way for you to look at that finance a home your manifestations will come to fruition if you trust you I feel like that is the one thing that you really need to work on is trust. Uh, the Grand Signore with the Emperor and the Nine of Wands the sin, uh, and, and the sense of despair. If some of you lost your job, obviously you feel like I'm talking out of my ass. Um, if you are in a situation where you feel like, listen, I've, I've lost my job. They've cut back on my hours. I don't know how I'm going to get through the holidays. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really feel like 
uh, there will be new paths that open up for you, either a second job um, or another opportunity that comes in where somebody offers you better pay, better hours, longer, you know, more compensation, but there is something that opens up for you uh, that will help increase your um, your finances, okay? So um, let's, I feel like some of you want me to clarify the divine counterpart in love and some of you want me to clarify the wheel of fortune. So um, the mature man, this feels like, you know, with the emperor and the mature man, this feels like this is someone older who comes in to help you out. Uh, who is like a mentor, but for some of you, I mean, just, you know, point blank, there's a mature man, someone older, someone who's got it together, who's really interested in you or who shows interest in you. Um, this could also be somebody that you are with. Uh, Empress, Emperor, Divine Counterpart. Let me have the card. Too many flipped out. Oh, too many flipped out, but... Um, again, when I was talking about uh, somebody offering, making an offer to you, mature woman came out in reverse, uh, for mentorship and business. I do feel like that is coming in very strongly, but for divine counterparts. Okay. I just heard, um, I'm asking for divine counter counterparts, but the whole money and sudden wealth and unexpected money. This is a, a mentor that it feels like they're destined or to come into your path to help you really align the mentorship part in terms of money and align to how to maximize your money, how to invest, what to look for, how to better spend your money. But then because I also asked for divine counterpart, this is someone who, you know, doesn't have to be both. It can be separate, right? This is someone who uh is going to propose is going to be interested in you long term marriage commitment partnership okay now others of you that want the wheel of fortune family room four of wands and the house clearly those of you that have been hoping wishing praying to purchase a home to move into a new home to be more established in the home let me just tell you this way, even if you don't see it or you're just barely seeing the beginning part of it, like you put an offer into a home or you just turned in an application, it's happening, it's yours. Don't doubt it. Believe that it is yours. You will align to the right home for you. I just, I, I see it happening. I see keys being handed to you. Look at that, official person. You are being told. So your offer is accepted. You're being financed. You have been pre-approved. The house that you want, you turned in your application. I just feel very, very strongly that that type of change is happening for you. And it feels like this is going to be a beautiful warm environment where you, your family, your children, your partnership uh, can definitely grow. And I heard the word blossom. Okay. Uh, what advice do you have for Taurus? <laughs> so clearly emperor twice, nine of cups twice, strong message of wish fulfillment. Getting your life in order, getting your finances in order. If you're afraid you're not going to be able to make ends meet, you will have a, a job proposal or opportunities for money, growth, expansion, career opportunities. I, I, I know this is a weekly reading, but it's coming to you by the end of the year. It, it, you know, sooner rather than later, obviously. And it's, I feel for some of you, even comes like a signing bonus, okay? Uh, it feels like you're going to feel on top of the world financially too. I also feel that for some of you that do have like a side business or, or starting a business, it suddenly catapults into um, massive, massive income for you, okay? Uh, I also feel that for some of you that do have like a business partnership, take care of those business partnerships if you want to buy someone out, if you uh, have a silent partner, if you owe someone money, take care of that. The, you're blocking your blessings if you're constantly staying in um, in this fear or worry that you're not making enough money, okay, or that you owe someone too much money and you're not seeing profits, okay? 
Uh, anything else that Taurus needs to know moving forward? Page of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune again. Listen, this is a clear indication that you've got massive, massive changes coming into your life. All for the better, even if you don't see it, even if it's uncomfortable growing pains. Trust the process. I cannot say it enough. A lot of you are having some massive anxieties, as I said that, in terms of, I don't know if I'm ready for these changes. This is card number 18, translates into a number one, I mean a number nine. So obviously you're at the end of the road. This is like the last, uh, oh my God, I just heard it like the last push, like when you're birthing, giving labor and the doctor's saying one last push and the baby comes out. Those of you that have children know or have seen movies, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's your you're literally giving birth to a whole new you, a whole new mindset, a, a, a whole new uh, set of ideas, and you will need some rest and rejuvenation uh, that comes into play with that in order for you to really enjoy and take a deep breath and understand how far you've come and where you are going. This is not the end of the road for you, but rather the beginning of a whole new chapter, brand new journey. Take it as it comes. I, I, I see and I feel big, big things for you, Taurus. You just have to trust. You have to trust, okay? Have a wonderful week ahead. Make sure you check out all these readings I'm linking here, your playlist and whatever other readings I have here. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below that you claim it, that you're ready for this new chapter in your life. Have a wonderful week. Can't wait to read for you guys again. Take care. Bye.